she thirsty. So, we're gonna be changing out this part that's been causing me some issues with the tilts and TCT. Mechanical fuel injection. Oh yeah? This is a, a stock uh, 1984, 1985 uh, Toyota. It's a hybrid. It burns uh, oil and gas properly. Everything is is from technology. All these, all the everything it has is technology from 1985. Uh, then adapter plate for, for the transfer case, but differential, I guess, steering. Uh, a few things welded to it. So today, we're changing up this old beat up carburetor on this Stage 2 GX uh, Honda 200. David's here to give me some uh, adult supervision. And we're gonna be changing it out to mechanical fuel injection. Gotta take that off. Throttle on. So I wasn't able to drain out the the fuel from the bowl because both of these nuts are stripped and gunked up. So dump it in the bucket. Trying to not try not to set us on fire. So now that shit fit over the 
back in. It's the old gasket. Yeah, it looks better and then it has the cutaway. No. I think Three. it's the old one. To be not covered up. So this one at least keeps it open and it still seals. You got a hole right there in that, that area right there. I don't think this one has a choke. Yeah, it has a choke. That's the choke lever right there. We just gotta figure out how to put it on. Do I take out that screw? So I take off that piece? Yeah, it doesn't need that because it doesn't pull down the carbon anymore. No, use it or use the same linkage. So here, so no throttle, full throttle. No throttle. You're gonna run this. Okay, might get the. So full throttle, no throttle. Full throttle, no throttle. So choke, run, choke, run, choke, run, choke, run, choke, run. I use protection. You gotta use protection. Especially in this environment. You never know what you can catch in the filter. Amoeba. We go through the painstaking process of tuning. So there's an Allen key here for the the rich, the rich lean adjustment. So we're gonna have to pop off that little tab there. Uh, the idle screw is right here. And then uh, choke, start, and then that's how the, the throttle linkage goes back on. And then you don't reuse 
Oh, I put it away. The the choke holder. Yeah, so you don't have to re. It has its own choke holder, so you don't reuse that piece that used to be the choke holder. So it's self-contained within its own its own piece. So it looks like hopefully soon I got fuel injection. We'll find out. Seems to be a couple of projects. So this right here, invented by this man right here. What do you mean? Is the the free exhaust mod for the stock 212 exhaust. So normally, this exhaust right here is oriented at the, the top of the motor. You turn it so that it's oriented this way, and then your exhaust comes over here, which keeps a lot of heat off the, the top of the head right here. Uh, you won't be able to reuse the original gasket. I got a little crazy here with the RTV, hopefully. I didn't mess up anything. No, RTV's been working on mine, my other left leg as well. But, so, free exhaust mod. Uh, it's kind of like a, a mud motor exhaust. And doesn't really cost you anything, but uh, some wrench time and some RTV. Looks nicer too. Gets you access to the spark plug and uh, especially once you go to an aftermarket air filter, just lets you troubleshoot a lot more without being covered up by the plastic air intake and, and the muffler. Alright David, almost ready to fire this up? You put gas in it. Put gas and then uh, some light tuning. Let's, let's do it. Which, for the tuning, we're going to have to pop off this little plastic piece right here uh, to do the, the lean rich adjustments. Alright. So, David probably ruined it, but... Yeah, it's rubber. You can leave it open, you just don't want it to get filled up with water and dirt. Yeah, I'll probably put it back on. Yeah, once you tune it once, you should be fine. So, it has an Allen key in here. Uh, we're going to have to find out which direction to go. Uh, left or right, for the, the lean adjustment. But apparently, from the box, uh, it comes at a, uh, a stock Tillotson or a... Predator 212 setting, but this is a, a stage 2 GX uh, 200, so we're probably gonna have to play with the adjustment a bit. So, interesting note here uh, after I put it all together, I realized it doesn't have a inline shutoff switch like a uh, normal carb. So I don't know if fuel is gonna leak past into the into the carb or not. I didn't have that issue. Uh, with mine so that will if I get my engine flooded we know what happened so I guess the most ideal situation that you could probably do is if you extended the line and then put an inline fuel filter or inline uh, fuel shut switch off shut off valve on there that would probably be the the best way to go but uh, David didn't have problems in the past with it so we'll see I'd, I'd say it needs to warm up before it's it's hard to tune, or it's harder to tune till till it actually warms up.
choke still on? Just, just leave the choke on for a full minute. So you just wanted to die. So, I uh, took a little bit of playing with it. I'm pretty sure there's a method to the madness uh, instituting these, but I just played with it till it worked. Played it with the idle screw and the lean to rich. So, lefty loosey, lean, righty tighty, rich. And I just played with it until it idled well and accelerated well. And Maybe I could go for a night run. We'll see. Test it out. But so far, TCT works good. Can't wait to get it back on the water. I did swap to a 7 weedless.